Hello everyone. So this is a quick video to show you how Azure Minting works. So if you go to uh, the browse case project, this is a very good example. So on OpenSea uh, in browse case project, click on any of the profile pictures and go to details and contract address. And if you go to contract, you can see uh, in the right functions, there's mint reserve token. This mint reserve token basically takes the address of the person you want to send the reserve token to and the number of tokens. So this is the main, main bit. How, how was it implemented? Uh, again, I've already coded this over here. As you can see, this was uh, created by me, Uncle Haru. Uh, and you can look at the reserve. So this function basically takes the two address and the number of tokens and it sends, is it basically calls a safe mint. Uh, to send the tokens to the address that you want to send to and the number of tokens and it's, it's like any other mint function like uh, over here like when you do whitelist mint it also calls the save minting function here in the mint reserve it is also calling the save mint function so any mint function will call this so the, somebody asked uh, me a question about how do you keep the reserve like how do you spare some tokens when you're launching an nft the nft has been minted out and you want to send this at a later stage um, well this is how you do it so uh, you basically make sure that uh, for example over here in my uh, like counts I have got like a reserve count somewhere let me see number of reserve tokens is 10 right so because I've got the number of tokens as 10 I have added this in my modifiers that don't mint these 10 tokens so whenever you're minting, like uh, there is a is supply mining function. So I'm checking the supply every time the mint function is called, and I'm checking that the supply doesn't have uh, like the reserve tokens in it. So it basically is it's basically this formula. So I'm counting how many uh, tokens reserve tokens are minting, how many total tokens are minted, and how many users are remaining. So for example, if we start with 10 reserve token and we have minted zero, then this will come up with uh, basically 10. So maximum supply minus 10 would be the total amount that people can mint. And similarly, it will uh, decrease as reserve tokens are minted. So this allows me to mint reserve tokens on the fly, like when the minting is happening or when the minting has finished. So I'm gonna add the address of this contract in the video as well, so that you can look at it. Uh, if you have any questions, it's it's, it's not it's uh, it's not rocket science to be honest. Uh, and if you want me to go in details about the modifiers, I'm happy to go in details about that as well. It's very very straightforward. All you need to do is just have the mint uh, the number of reserve tokens and uh, is supply remaining uh, function, which is a modifier. This modifier will be on your mint whitelist or the normal mint function. Make sure basically you are calling this uh, sub, uh, this modifier. Uh, and you have the, got this mint reserve uh, token function. That's it. It's, it's, it's very simple to implement it. Thank you.